What's up guys? This is Hyrule Mom and today in Somnatica Bigo Zero, I'm going to show you how to find all the 14 creature eggs. This one includes the tribal eggs as I've covered them in my videos already, which I will link in the description. Let's get into it. A big thank you to my daughter for that awesome intro. We're going to start our video here at Delta Island by the Delta Station Dock Beacon. This island is to the south of your drop pod locations. And the first egg we're going to show you today is the Cryptosuchus egg. This is what you're looking for here. And to find these eggs, you want to look in the Thermal Spires Cave. So the Thermal Spires is the biome that borders the island edge here. So come over to Delta Island and you want to be looking down in amongst these deep crevices where the thermal geysers, the lava geysers are. Cryptosuchus eggs are often found down on the bottom. And there's one right there, just laying down here. And there we go, it's that simple. Now you've got your Cryptosuchus. Let's move on to the next one. The next egg location I'll show you is sea monkey eggs, which look like this. You can find them inside sea monkey nests. Sea monkey nests are located in three spots in game. The East Arctic Kelp Caves, the West Arctic Kelp Caves, and the lily pad crevice. I'm going to show you the East Arctic Kelp Caves today, which from the Delta Island dock is directly between north and northeast on your compass. I'm going to travel about 600 meters away from the Delta Station dock beacon. When you see this Altera Tech station, that's where you want to be. If you look, you should be about 600 meters away from the dock beacon. And right beside this Altera Tech station is the entrance we're looking for into the East Arctic Kelp Caves. So you're going to come down into the caves and you're basically going to be looking for sea monkey nests like this. And here we are. We've got a sea monkey inside a nest here. And there you go. Let's go to the next egg. Our next egg location will be the brute shark egg, which looks like this. The brute shark eggs can be found in the Twisty Bridges Caves. From the Delta Station dock, I'm going to head one notch to the right of northwest on my compass and head 300 meters away from the Delta Station dock beacon. Turning back to your beacon at around 300 meters, you want to look straight down and descend into this area here. At 150 meters deep, you should see this architect flashing beacon, and that is near an entrance to the Twisty Bridges Caves here. So if you go in and explore along the cave floor, you should be able to find brute shark eggs lying about. Here's one right here. And there we are. On to the next egg. The next egg location is the pinacarid egg. They look like this. You can find pinacarids in the east and the west arctic kelp forest. From the delta station dock, I am going to be going to the west arctic kelp forest. So I'm going to put myself one notch to the right of west on my compass and travel about 500 meters away from the Delta Station Dock Beacon to where the West Arctic Kelp Forest begins. Right about here is where the forest begins. 
So what you want to do is basically scan along the floor around the Arctic kelp forest to find the pinnacarid egg. And here's one right here. There we go. So they'll just be lying amongst the grass. On to the next egg. Our next location is going to be for two eggs, the Arctic ray eggs and the brine wing eggs, which look like this. Both of these eggs can be found in the sparse Arctic biome. From the Delta Station dock, I'm going to take my sea truck two notches to the right of north and travel about 600 meters away from the Delta Station dock beacon to enter the sparse Arctic biome. Once you enter the sparse arctic biome, you're going to be looking for the arctic ray eggs on the sea floor. And right here we have an example of one of them. So your arctic ray eggs will be scattered about in the sparse arctic biome. But your brine wing eggs are a little bit different. Brine wing eggs are actually planted on the actual on the ice wall here see so you'll find brine wing eggs attached to the ice in the sparse arctic biome and there we go both eggs on to the next one our next egg location is the penguin egg which looks like this penguin eggs can be found on an iceberg in the west arctic from the delta station dock i'm going to point my sea truck directly between southwest and west then I'm going to shimmy over a little bit till I've got a clear path around the island and I'm going to continue forward about 500 meters to the iceberg. And this is the iceberg you're looking for here. So we're just going to go to the entrance, which is on the other side of it. And here is what I like to call penguin iceberg. Here on this island, you'll find a lot of penguins and you'll find some penguin eggs. There you go, pretty easy to get to, pretty easy to find. On to the next egg. Our next egg location is going to be the Titan whole fish egg, which looks like this. These eggs are really interesting because they actually float. We're going to be finding them inside an iceberg in the West Arctic biome. From the Delta Station dock, I'm going to put my sea truck facing two notches to the right of Southwest and then I'm going to shift over so I've got a clear path around the island and travel about 650 meters to the iceberg I want. And here we are in the West Arctic biome with all the large icebergs. And if you've ever noticed, some of the icebergs have holes in them. And we are actually going to find the eggs inside these holes. So the Titan holefish will lay them inside the icebergs so they don't just float up to the surface. It's actually a really interesting mechanic that I find very fascinating. So you come into the caves inside of the icebergs and you should find some Titan holefish eggs. There we go, on to the next one. 
Our next egg location is the glow whale egg, which looks like this. Glow whale eggs are found on the floating islands. So from the Delta Station dock, we are going to put ourselves directly between east and southeast on the compass and travel about 700 meters near the surface to the floating islands. And here we are at the floating islands and basically the glow whale eggs can be found amongst the grass on the islands. I usually find mine on the two big islands over here which are the ones which are about 700 meters from the Delta Station dock. You should be at those two larger islands and you just want to get out and basically look amongst the grass for the eggs. They can be a little bit harder to find, so you do need to get right down into the grass. But this is what they'll look like. Here we go, glow whale egg. Can't grab it, but on to the next egg. The next creature egg location is the lily paddler egg, which looks like this. Lily paddler eggs can be found in the lily pad crevice, of course. So from the Delta Station dock, I'm going to put my sea truck right between east and southeast on my compass and travel about 675 meters to a lily pad crevice entrance. For this one, I am going to try to stay close to the sea floor so that I can find the entrance. And here we go, this is the entrance we are looking for here. If we look back, just over 675, we're 700 meters away from the Delta Station Dock Beacon. So we're going to be going down into the lily pad crevice. And these eggs can also be a little bit challenging to find because like the glow whales, they do hide well in the grass. So just take your sea truck down and uh, explore along the lily pad crevice a bit. Here's an example of how well hidden they can be. This is a lily paddler egg, tucked away far into the corner with a lot of camouflage. So keep an eye out, they do move, so try to find that movement and hopefully you'll find lily paddler eggs here. On to the next one. The next location I'm going to show you is the squid shark egg, which looks like this. Squid shark eggs can be found in the deep lily pads cave biome. So from the Delta Station dock, I'm going to put my sea truck one notch to the left of southeast on my compass. And I'm going to travel about 750 meters away from the Delta Station dock beacon to a depth of about 150 meters plus, And we will find the entrance to the deep lily pads cave biome. You should pass by this floating island with the cable on it. And then you'll reach this rock formation, which you should see some cabling by a cave entrance there. And if you look down, you will see the crevice, which leads down to the deep lily pads cave. Once you reach the hub room, you want to face yourself north and travel through the passageway.
you'll see this architect piece here. You're going to go down this little slope here and descend. When you're here at the bottom, you're going to face yourself west and northwest and follow the little pathway down. And that should take you to 600 meters depth where you should see these two rock formations to the southeast of you. But we're actually going to be going to the cave where I found the two squid shark eggs, which is the exact opposite direction. So we're gonna go west over here to this little cave. And deep inside at the back, I found two squid shark eggs. And there we are. That's what they look like. Hope this helps anybody. On to the next one. The next location I'm going to show you is the eye jelly eggs, which look like this. Eye jelly eggs can be found in the glacial connection. So from the Delta Island, I'm going to put myself two notches to the left of west. I'm going to shimmy over so I have a clear path around the island. And I'm going to travel about 820 meters to where the glacial connection begins. So over here in the West Arctic biome, there is the glacial connection. So you just want to slip in here and the eye jelly eggs will be anywhere along the glacial connection here. And they should be gathered in one area mostly though. And here we have a large gathering of eye jellies. And here, tiny little guys on the bottom are eye jelly eggs, jellyfish eggs. These are honestly my favorite eggs, I think, in the game. I absolutely love these creatures. So here we go, jellyfish eggs. On to the next one. The next location I'm going to show you is the crash fish egg, which looks like this. Getting crash fish eggs can be a little bit more complicated because they come from crash fish nests, which are located in the east and the west Arctic kelp forest caves. Now, in order to get this, you're going to have to activate the crash fish so he comes out and then hope that you get left behind an egg in the nest instead of crystalline sulfur. So from the Delta Station, I am going to be going to the West Arctic Kelp Caves. So I'm positioning myself west on the compass and I'm going to travel about 515 meters away from the Delta Station Dock Beacon. So I'm above an entrance that goes down to the Kelp Caves. So as soon as I hit the forest, I'm just going to turn around so I can get exactly to 515 meters. Then I'm going to look down and I should be right above an entrance into the caves. Yep, there it is, right here. So we're going to go down here. And there is a crash fish nest located right up there. So first I am going to lay eyes on the nest so that I know where it is. Oh, I think I activated a different one. There it is, right there. So that is the nest right there in my little circle. And what I want to do is basically go past it and get away as fast as I can so I don't get hurt. Oh, didn't survive that or didn't, didn't succeed there. No, nope, I'm busy, buddy. And then right here, I get a crash fish egg. Now, you might have to try this a few times because you might get crystalline sulfur left behind instead. 
but if you're lucky, you'll find a crash fish egg pretty quickly. And there we go. On to the next and last egg. Our final egg location is the rock puncher egg, which looks like this. Rock puncher eggs are found way deep down in the crystal caves fissures. So for this, you're definitely going to need a depth module for your sea truck and possibly the perimeter defense system to protect you from shadow leviathans. So from Delta Dock, we are going to put ourselves direct east and we are going to travel 550 meters away from the Delta Station Dock Beacon. And then we're going to descend 300 meters into the Purple Vents Caves. And as soon as the ground drops off here, we're going to descend. Continue east, follow this path, and it should drop down even more. And we're going to go down to 300 meters. Down at 300 meters, we're going to head in a northwest north direction here to the Crystal Caves entrance. And just a little tip, I do suggest you put a beacon here so you can find your way out as it is easy to get lost in the Crystal Caves. So we're going to go in, prep our perimeter defense, and we're going to start heading west, southwest, and kind of stick to the wall here as we descend. And we're going to keep leaning left as we go. And you should happen upon this landmark here. You've got three of the funky looking plants here with two rock shells pretty close together and a bunch of little crystals in between. This is a, a landmark you're going to need very often. We're gonna go right in between these heading east. Once you pass that, that area, the Crystal Caves fissures will start to appear. And basically that's where you go down a lot into a green-like area. So if you look down, you should see something similar to this. And basically you just need to go and explore down among those areas there. I'm actually gonna pop out here. And it goes even deeper. And then it goes underneath into these cave-like areas. And this is where I found my rock puncher egg. And as much as I've looked, I can't find it anywhere else in this biome. So I'm thinking they only must spawn or appear here in the Crystal Caves Fishers area, down here in the very deep green parts. But there we go. That is the last egg. I have shown you guys all 14 locations of all the eggs in this video. The trivalve eggs, blue and gold, the three locations are in separate videos I've done already. I'll link them in the description. And as always, guys, I hope this helps anybody who is looking to start their own aquarium. As always, be kind, stay legendary, and may the Triforce always be with you. Hylian Mum out.